Mary Elena, uh, what strategy does uh, Obama have here in California to get the Latino vote? Uh, we've had, he's been, had people on the ground um, since last fall, starting with the canvassing, starting with the door-to-door, -door, with the phone calling, and slowly building up and having inroads on the ground. This is not about the top endorsements, this is about doing door-to-door, -door, person by person, one by one organizing. And he's built that up to a point where, you know, even uh, paid ads, he was the first presidential candidate to do paid ads. But more importantly is, he has now built up real grassroots activists, organizers, leaders, community leaders who are out there saying there's the truth about what he does, his courage, his life history, his choices, what he's done in his life. That resonates with the Latinos, son of an immigrant, uh, 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 a community organizer, very consistent on immigration, very consistent how it can be used to unify people, not divide us. Uh, all those things that he's done throughout his life, they're now showing. He was consistent on the war. The uh, Latino uh, the voters are very opposed to the war, and he's been consistent from day one. So those are what's, the things that we take what's out. What's the takeaway that you get from Nevada, where, uh, as you know, uh, 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 Clinton outpolled him two to one among Latinos, in spite of the endorsement of your union and all the work that you put in. What changes here in California? What do you take away from Nevada to avoid? That here. Well, first of all, he started out with 5% Latino vote, and in a week's time, 7 to 10 days' time, he went up to 25%. So what that shows me is that with a small period of time, what they were able to do was reach into the Latino community. And I'm proud that the union was the one who fought for the right of those low-wage casino workers to have the right to caucus in the first place on their lunch hour, make sure that the employers respected that. I think that's a, a big plus. They all owe it to uh, not only the union, but uh, to the uh, candidacy of Barack Obama. So it went up by 20 points. That's a, that's a lot of progress for seven to 10 days. We're, we're working hard to do that in California. I, I thought the American people won tonight. This was a great debate on the issues. It was a civil debate. Uh, one where we got to see the two candidates uh, focused on the issues that America cares about, getting us out of the war as quickly and safely as possible, addressing the crisis of health care in America, really doing something to create the good jobs to get America's economy back on track and strengthening the middle class. Those are the issues that people care about and that's what we got tonight. But remember this, campaigns aren't just about debates. If this was just about debates, well, uh, you might have said it was a draw. But uh, the fact of the matter is we look at track record, we look at experience, we look at strength and leadership. And on those counts, Hillary Clinton's uh, a notch above. She just is. Do you think Hillary is in any danger of not hanging on to the Latino vote in California? Look, I, I think uh, Senator Clinton uh, has demonstrated in Nevada and Florida that she has a great uh, base uh, among uh, Latinos, uh, that she's able to appeal to a broad cross-section of America's electorate. I think she's going to do very, very well uh, among Latinos, and she will uh, because they know her. They've worked with her. Uh, they remember the Clinton years when we went from deficits uh, to uh, surpluses. They remember the Clinton years uh, when we provided health care to six million uh, children. They remember the Clinton years when we cut the backlog in the citizenship, uh, you know, uh, line that was taking years to process. So I think on those counts, uh, they know her, they trust her, uh, and uh, they're going to vote for her uh, here in California, but also in New York, in New Jersey, in New Mexico, in Colorado, uh, in Arizona.